The first way we're going to try to generate some income out of our app is by using the SK Store Product View Controller. Prior to iOS 6, the Store Kit would require you to go outside of your app in order to show iTunes to make purchases. That's no longer the case with this View Controller. Our storyboard is really simple. We just have a single button to show the View Controller. In our code, we're implementing the SK Store Product View Controller delegate. And of course, we created a button property and a touched event for our button. In our touched event, we create a SK Store Product View Controller object. And we set that controller's delegate to ourself. So we're going to see the events come back from the store controller. We're going to create a dictionary of parameters, and we're going to create a parameter with SK Store Product Parameter iTunes Item Identifier and a number for that identifier. In this case, we've got 266075192, which is the product that will be shown in iTunes when the view controller is shown. So where did I get that ID? It's basically an iTunes number. So from the Apple documentation, you go to linkmakeritunes.apple.com and search for the product, then locate the iTunes identifier in the link URL. So really what they mean is you go and search on what you're looking for. The ID is right in the URL of that product page. So that's where that 266 number comes from. So now we've loaded our parameters with the ID that we want to show. We call the controller and we load the product with parameters. And if that's good, then we present our view controller in the same way that we would present any view controller. So we're going to throw a little animation on it as well. In our delegate, we handle the product view controller did finish event. And all we're going to do there is dismiss the view controller when it's finished. So we'll run that. And when I click the view controller button, it eventually comes up with the iTunes store page that I was looking for. So from here, the user can make any purchases they want. And when they cancel, we end up going back to our app. So how does this help me in terms of generating income? It doesn't directly affect income, but what you can do is you can link yourself to other apps or products that you provide in the iTunes store to generate more sales on other products. It's a very simple way to get that kind of cross-link action that you might be familiar with with the web. And it's basically the simplest way we have to deal with in terms of in-app purchasing. So now that we've done the easy stuff, we'll start taking a look at real in-app purchasing that opens up options as to other things that we can sell.